Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin is also fulfilling currently its technical analysis. Yesterday, we definitely had a more meaningful bottom in place here for Bitcoin, as I already indicated in my last video. I told you that unfortunately, because Bitcoin failed to make a new low below the June low, we now, in my last video, we, we now have a case for a more extensive correction, also based on the oversold um, situation that we had on some of the time frames. I think on the four hour we were quite significantly oversold. Let me show you here, yeah, and um, quite oversold. That always suggests a possible at least short term reversal. Um, we then looked in the yesterday's latest video, we looked at the MACD. We said, all right, the bullish momentum is still ongoing, so at the moment can probably push a bit higher, which we've done. We've come into my target area. Um, now, anybody who went long, you know, I, I can only say, think about profit taking. I won't tell you what to do, but think about it. But um, I think we have a chance to push higher now as well. The daily has really only just made another bullish crossover on the MACD and the RSI has broken into the bullish range above 50. So for me at the moment here with Bitcoin, um, it is still a matter of waiting. <clears throat> I can tell you that very clearly because the Bitcoin pattern and the Bitcoin scenario is far away from being clear. There are coins which are following very nicely the TA at the moment and where I have much more confidence, for example, Ethereum, Aave, you know, we talked about Ethereum Classic, things like that where you have a clearer one, two setup. Here with Bitcoin, you don't. Um, Bitcoin has not fulfilled its pattern. Well, the only way really I could say that a, low, a more meaningful low is in, if I count this as a truncated low, and then I can say, all right, okay, we have a truncation, which is never ideal. A, a truncation requires proving. What does, mean, what does it mean, a truncation? As you can see here on this chart, in this low, we basically made the same, well, a little bit higher, just a tiny bit higher than the previous low. This is called a truncation, which means the pattern could be fulfilled, but it's not ideal. It, it, it went short of making a new low. Um, to believe this, I want to get proof. I want to get evidence. I want the price now to show me that this has to be a truncation and that the pattern indeed was complete. It can show me by a strong move to the upside, a five wave impulse, and then a correction to the downside. That's how the price can prove that, how the market can prove that, that we have to consider something more bullish here. Okay. Um, and until I see that evidence, I'm just going to sort of, let's say, stay away from Bitcoin, right? Um, I think I highlighted my strategy about Bitcoin already before. I mean, I have generally lower buying prices um, for Bitcoin than where we are now. I mean, historically, uh, therefore, I'm under personally, you know, I can only always talk about myself. Everybody's in a different situation. Personally, I have no reason to, to buy in now. Um, I am going to wait and, and, and well, I do here step by step, you know, accumulate little quantities, dollar cost average into the hardware wallet. That That's sort of, you know, $10 here, 15 $20 here, maybe 50, maybe a bit more, one few days, but that's not really trading. That's just accumulating in generally what I believe is a very interesting long-term range. So sort of, sort of, you know, hedging long-term as well. You know, if we go down lower, that's fine. I'm just um, so sort of waiting for those lower swing trade entries, but should we just go to the moon from here, which, you know, we're not going to do in one straight line anyway, um, then at least I've got something in my long-term portfolio. So, so that's my personal strategy about Bitcoin. Just because for trading, you know, for more aggressively trading Bitcoin at the moment, the pattern itself is just not very clear. So why not go to the charts that have clearer patterns, right? We still want to use Bitcoin as sort of orientation here. Um, but um, yeah, let's, um, let's see how this is going to continue. So in my last video, I gave you or defined for you here target area for Bitcoin. We got into this. This target area is based on the assumption that what we have here at the moment is just um, the wave B high and we will come down once more in C. That is the current assumption. Now, what I have defined here for this wave B is just a, a target area based on the ideal levels. Yeah, so it goes all the way up here to the 78.6% Fib level. If we go above that, then I think, well, the next resistance area or breakout point 
will be the 20,450 level. In terms of resistance, you also have the $20,200 level here, which is the 88.7% um, FIB level. And at the moment, it looks like we're coiling up for another move to the upside. I have to tell you that because there is currently no strong rejection. This looks just like a consolidation we're doing in something that could currently be um, something much more bullish. Yeah, it can be, absolutely. Um, but in the short term, I would now still look at possibly getting rejected here. We have three waves, but I can also tell you there is a definitely a good potential we push higher. And now for me, it's just waiting, right? For me, it's just waiting and um, the situation is far away from clear. I showed you yesterday in yesterday's video another scenario where um, we have a much more a possibility to be much more to go much more much higher in a corrective pattern. Yeah, what we did, um, I did show you, I did show you, I did show you, I did delete it from the chart because it gets confusing. But we talked about this could be a much more a much larger one two setup one two three four five and so on. You know, then come down lower. And if this is the case, and that is what I mean with pattern is not entirely clear, you know, why focus on something which is not entirely clear. So if this is, if this down here was a wave one, and I, I would have to change the entire account for that, but if this really indeed was a wave one, then the wave two correction could still move all the way up to 21.8K, the 78.6% level of that retracement. And Therefore, I told you, until we get above 21.8K, uh, I'm not going to flip bullish here. 21.8K level, if we break above that, there's a case to be made a more meaningful lowers in. Until that's the case, I treat any increase as purely corrective that should be followed by one more low. Yeah, it's just what it is because the pattern, again, is far away from clear. Maybe I leave this one too on the chart for now. I do it another color. Um, yeah just so that we know there is this possibility. So my view is if we now get above that nine here, let's call it 20K level. Yeah, we've got resistance at 20 and a half. And if we have resistance here, uh, if we get through this level, then we have a really good chance to get to that 21.8K level. And then there will be a major decision point there. Yeah, a major decision point. And we talked in previous videos and also in the member live streams about how to deal with such inflection points, such decision points. Yeah, I would personally not chase the green candles. I'm always going to wait for the next dip and then see what's the market doing at that dip. If it's a three wave move down, yeah, I might scale into there. You know, then we'll see waiting for evidence, waiting for the market to tell us what's going on here and then reacting to it. That's what I prefer to do instead of just gambling or speculating. So yeah, interesting market here. I did, I really, I dislike the Bitcoin chart at the moment. Um, doing TA on a chart which is unclear is always painful. I know a lot of you appreciate it, therefore I do it. And um, but it's at the moment just sort of we we sort of still just sideways moving. Yeah, we we're just moving here. We're currently at a price level where we were in October already. You know, we were here back in in September. It's just sub, it's just a range still. But as you can see, this sort of is a descending wedge that we have here on the chart. We broke above it now. So let's see if something more meaningful emerges out of it. I mean, I would have no problem with suddenly a bull run to start or at least a year end rally. You know, we talked about that. Uh, we prepared for that on this channel as well. Um, October, November, December are historically strong months in crypto, generally across markets. So maybe after these strong sell offs that we saw in the last few days and, and weeks, maybe we see a more substantial rally to the upside. Now, if this is really a beginning to a bull run or if it is just a bear market rally, we will not know until we um, go much higher, but the structure will tell us a lot about it. And I'll do my best to keep you updated. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.